Hey everybody, I need to make this quick because my phone will not stop ringing. A couple people asked me how I did my puff that I showed you a couple days ago. And I'm not going to really do a tutorial, but I'm going to talk about it. It's really easy. You know, my hair was in an afro. I didn't want to wear it picked out. So I just took some oil, rubbed it in my hand, smoothed my hair back and up. Took a, a goody ouchless headband. You can get these from Walmart, CVS, Dollar Store. It's just a stretchy headband. You can get them in black or different colors. So I take one, put it around my head, and I wrap it around twice. So I would stretch it out and make sure it goes over my head. That's when I would smooth my hair back or whatever. And just use this and push it back like you do any any other kind of headband style. You just push it back until your puff is as far back as you want it. You can use um, more than one. I think I had two that were double double stretched so it would be extra tight and fluff out the puff and gel your edges down. That's the end of that. And today I did my hair with Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Um, the first time I used it was four months ago and I hated it because it took forever to dry and I think I used too much and my hair was shorter. I just, I didn't like it and I tried it again today because I didn't have anything to, or anywhere to go. And it's not dry at the root, but the rest of my hair is pretty much dry and I like it a whole lot better. I just hate how much my hair shrinks right now. You know, once my hair is like shoulder length, I'll probably love this product. But, um, I probably won't use it again for another four months because, and I will never buy it again. I'll go ahead and say that I will not buy Kinky Curly. Some people swear by it, but for me, this product is not worth the money because for one, the application process is just ridiculous. I mean, the hair has to be soaking wet and it works better if you use the not today. It's just ridiculous. I don't have time to sit here and wait for my hair to dry all day just to get something, some effect that I could have gotten with an oil and a gel. So, if anybody's debating whether or not to buy Kinky Curly, if it was me, I wouldn't buy it again. You can find the gel to put in your hair that will give you the same result. It's really not all that. It's not. And it costs so much for that tiny little jar. Anyway, um, but my hair does look okay. I mean, it's bouncy. And it's not like the kinky curly leaves your hair really moisturized because my hair is, it's not crunchy. Or oh, yes it is. It is crunchy. It's just not extremely crunchy. trying to get the light so you can see. <sighs> so yeah, that's that. Um, what else? Oh, as far as kinky curly, I have the Not Today. I have a bottle of Not Today and I have a little jar of the K KCCC. Um, they say you should use it together. I wouldn't know because I never tried the custard by itself. I had the conditioner already, but I did try the conditioner by itself since it is the leave-in. And when I put that in my hair, when I first put it in, you know, it had a lot of slip. I could detangle. It felt good. It smelled good. But for my hair type, it dried and made my hair so hard and crispy and it just it mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that but you know it might work for you so yeah this was my little rant slash puff explanation so you guys have a good rest of your Sunday and I have a friend that I want to recommend I'll probably send everybody one of her videos I want you guys to subscribe to her and I'll tell you more about that later, so I gotta go.